And I don't have to make that decision to put him on IR with the league office until uh, tomorrow with Bob Wiley. Okay, so I got to do that by four o'clock. But no, it's just part of the deal, part of the profession. You never know. Good day today, and it was really fast. And I, you know, you, you'll, when you get in the locker room, you probably see him being pretty chirpy in there. But it was good competition inside today. Uh, we chose to come in here um, instead of being out there in the rain. And they had a really good fast Friday practice. And uh, now we've got to do all the meetings here post practice and go over the stuff that we saw that still needs to be refined. Questions? Jabril able to do stuff today? I mean, yeah, he practiced. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we'll see how he, how he come out of the day. But yeah, he practiced. Serious note about Bob. How how tough was it for you to watch? It's him? hard. You know, any time like that, and you know, and and he's a he's a strong individual too. And but it shows you again, um, and use that example on next man up. And we got to do that. The players were involved, and and as you would know, it took an awful lot of players to pick him up to put him on the cart. You know, when you're that big. So, uh, but they responded well to it, and last night to it too, and we'll continue. And uh, he's in our he is in our thoughts and prayers, and he'll bounce back. Although you've got a lot of veteran linemen there, so it does. And we also have we also have a, a sound staff. You know, there's not any one particular position coach. At, at, in any position, you know, we we have that, and you know, I learned that a long time ago. As staff started to grow a little bit, um, you got to make sure you have and the type of people and how you're working people to make sure that you're able to handle any type of a situ situation, be it sickness, be it injury, um, and the offensive side of the ball sound in that way. They, they they've got that handled. You guys were a little bit more talkative. They were talking a little more trash before the the lead up to the first Bengals game. This week seems a little more business-like. Why do you think that is? Which game were you talking about? Lead up to the first Bengals game, Demary said if they don't have AJ Green. Because they understand about being focused and getting ready to this game. That's why. Those lines, um, you know, the Browns are big favorites for the first time in, in a long time. You guys have won a couple in a row. You beat this team on November 25th pretty handily. Do you talk to guys about handling? You know, we, we never do, you know, and I, I've never ever seen that or ever watched or paid attention to that, you know, in really my whole career. And then even when, you know, people want to talk about, you know, not being favored, you know, but yet, yet you still win those games. You know, it's about going out and doing what we're supposed to do. And we don't worry about those things at all. We do focus on our personal execution, okay? And whether it be an individual, whether it be a unit, whether it be a side of the ball or whatever, and then as a team. And that's really when other things start to creep in, those distractions cause hesitations. And at this level, there's not enough time for anybody to hesitate because the ability level of speed at, at this level, you know, gets you beat. We've got to be we've got to be right on with that. Against um, Cincinnati the last time, Nick didn't have I think it was three yards to carry and you said he, they had a good scheme going for you. What do you have to do differently? Well, the big time? thing is we just have to execute, you know, when, you know, on the time you know, that we have it. And on those particular, particular plays, we, you know, we saw what took place on those plays. You know, we've been repping those type of things right now. Um, and we, we got to do our job. And, you know, some people have to do some better jobs in those areas on those particular plays. But we had some other really, really good plays at the time. So it just is what it is. Front, is the Cincinnati's front the strength of their defense? Especially they're even they're, they're a solid. They're very solid, and you know, and, and have really watched those a lot of those guys for years, and have used several of those guys, you know, with some of the younger players that I've coached other places, you know, to, to show them how to do things. So I think they're very solid. They're a good group, good mix of of, of players there, and, and our guys up front. And even in the back end, on the offensive side of the ball, knows that we got to do our job, and you and you cannot be unsound in any way because they'll make you pay. Boyd has been ruled out for them, so uh, just facing their offense, you know, without without him, without AJ, without Andy, what impact on? What did they list? Where did they list Mixon? <laughs> I think he's playing. Question. He's going to play, yeah. So uh, I'm just, I, that was a joke. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, he, he, he's a focal part of their offense, you know, and he is unbelievable. And so in that respect, um, they've done a very good job. And they've played a lot of different people. And so we've had all those what ifs going. Our advanced scout team, you know, that came in and started at six o'clock on Monday night, you know, we're talking about all the different people who they could bring up, who could move in next. And, you know, we've watched every snap of the entire season. 
to see and even even some preseason film to make sure we have that for the matchups that we want. Uh, and they'll do a good job with that. And they've been mixing in some personnel anyway from the time that A.J. went down and w with the time that some of those other uh, tight ends went down. So we've got to be ready for, for everything. Greg, what did you, what did you think about um, the, the Baker kind of calling out the fans and now it's a sellout? You know, I, I didn't know anything about it, but it it's, doesn't surprise me that the fans aren't jumping on the bandwagon for everything. I think it's fantastic, and that's why we love playing at home. You know, you want that, and I can't uh, I can't wait to hear them. And you know, we have some things that we had to go over today and yesterday to make sure that uh, Joe Schobert can hear us. And one of the things I've said before, you know, and um, in some of the dominant places that I've been before. Yeah, the the helmet communication is working and they still can't hear you because of the home field advantage and when w they can't hear us well the offense can't you know hear either the Bengals offensive guys can't hear the play in the huddle either and it's pretty tough to do that and that's and those are why you want home field advantage I can't wait to hear them I think it's pretty cool really do